So, we are in Unreal 5, the most famous game engine on the planet. And first of all, we're just going to drop in a simple shape where we can test the simple materials on. I'll just fly over this real quick so you got the basics down because I noticed there's not many videos on this topic. Open up the content browser with control space, right click material, material. We call it M underscore for material and call it master because usually you would create a master shader. I'm not sure if we will in this video. Drag and drop that boy on there. Open up the content browser again, control space, double click this material, and there you have it. We're gonna drag in this tab just like you would in your Chrome browser. Now you see this kind of looks like Blender, but you can't do anything. How do you set the color? How do you do metallic? That's the big question. So we're gonna create a vector three node. So holding the number three on your keyboard and clicking. There you have it. That's the vector three, also known as RGB. You can double click it, you can change color, just like that and you have a blue ball if you want to make it metallic hold one for a vector one basically just a value node hook it up to metallic and here you can set it to one if you want to change the roughness hold one click roughness and give it a 0.5 roughness as it would be default wise in blender so next we're going to use some textures open up the content browser you can just drag and drop your textures.com oh textures.com textures just like that there you have it in the content browser you would just drag and drop as you would think you would so you just hook it up there you got it rgb next you maybe want to multiply this with a color you hold three get a color back in make it blue whatever hold m for multiply and basically multiply these boys together just like that and now you got just like in blender multiplied color maps so let's delete that again let's hook up the texture how are we gonna use other textures so normal maps are kind of unique as you know you need a normal map node no you don't not in unreal so if you open up this normal map you see it already knows it's a normal map so just close that hook that boy up and there you got it a normal map that's how easy it is in unreal now you want to change the strength but where's the slider for that it's called flatten normal you hook this boy up you get another value just hold one and click and flatten this boy up you can add two, you can add 10, you can add the amount of money that is on my bank account, just like this. Or you can also add the amount of money on your bank account, just like this. So either way, it will work. Um, next, we can just drop in a roughness map. There's no rocket science behind that. You can already kind of imagine how that's gonna go. One thing you maybe can't imagine is how do you change the tiling of this texture? That's not very hard either. So you right click, type coordinate, texture coordinates, just like this. You could just hook this up, but that won't do much. So you get in a multiply node with M, hook that boy up, hook that boy up, hit one, hook that boy up, um, and hook this boy up to all the UVs. And now in this floaty boy, you can add 10. Uh, yeah, and there you have it. So these are the basics of Unreal. This is how you make a basic shader, basic tiling, basic strength. You can multiply. So if you want to change roughness, one last thing. So you really get it. See, you just basically multiply a number by the roughness. And there by zero, it's going to be zero roughness. By two, it's going to be a hell of a lot of roughness. So that's it. Basics of Unreal shading. I guess I won't go into master shading right now. So that's it for today. Have fun. Do some, unri uh, do some Unreal. Here and there, it won't be worth it on the long run. And goodbye.